We've put a lot of time and effort into thinking about the best ways that we can create a quality of offer to both our on and off campus students, while also showing that UNE really has got innovative forms of teaching and outreach and that we're facing the challenges of the future. What we decided to do was to find mechanisms that made the best use of our very dispersed student cohort. We've got people literally everywhere throughout Australia and we want to give them all a really good sense of inclusion as well as a good quality education. We decided that what we'd try to do was a citizen science approach where the students actually engage with the staff that research are doing and this can happen immediately they come into their degrees. Now this is good for several reasons. It teaches them what research is, it teaches them how to research and it also gives them a collective sense of relationship so suddenly they're not just UNE students doing an essay, they're part of a UNE community who are working together for genuine real world outcomes. So what we've done is we've built a maritime archaeology database using our UNE web designers. It's very much based on several levels of operation. The first is we've got the initial interface that the students can enter data into and this includes all sorts of generic skills they can take into the workplace. The second is the students can then access the data for various types of research at undergraduate, honours, postgraduate level. Now we're also hoping that for UNE students it not only generates that sense of inclusion in a research community, it also makes best use of their personal research interests, their membership of historical societies or local museums, relationships to their families or their community members, the collection of oral histories, and it gives them an opportunity to create an enduring relationship with UNE. Once we've got the system up and running, the students can then continue to contribute to it once they finish their degrees well into the future. The benefits for us, particularly for archaeology and maritime archaeology, is that we create a UNE-based network of avocational researchers who we can draw on. But the other level is that once we have enough data, we can then release this to the general public. So every time people access the site, UNE will be seen as being at the forefront of this type of maritime archaeological research. One of the things that we're trying to achieve with UNE is research-linked teaching, so that not only we talk about our research in lectures, but for the students' assessment tasks, for instance, we actually engage them into the real world of research. We can use both the staff's research experiences but the students' research experiences as part of the educational package. How to achieve that inclusion given the distance and dispersion of the students, that's part of the real challenge.